Diabetes management starts with proper insulin administration. In this video, I'll be talking about the hin and out of proper insulin administration using insulin pen. Without further ado, let's get into it. As I approach my scene, I see my scene is safe, nothing to harm me and my patient. I provide privacy by pulling the nearby curtain. I go ahead to perform my hand hygiene, following the seven steps of WHO standard, and pour amount of gel to my palm. I rub palm to palm, right palm over left dosum, vice versa. Fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, vice versa. Rotational rubbing of my thumb, vice versa. Rotational rubbing of my finger close to my palm, vice versa. Rotational rubbing of my wrist, vice versa. My ends are clean and I will allow to drive for 30 seconds as I approach my patient. Hello, I'm Kenin, one of the nurses that will be attending to you today. How are you? Right. The reason why I'm here is to administer your prescribed insulin. Right. Is it a convenient time, please? Right. Thank you. Before we continue, could you please confirm your full name and date of birth while I double check with my paper workplace? All right. I have here also Jeanette James. Your date of birth is 01011992, right? And your first line of address is 27 Dalton Grove Badley Green. Is that correct? Right. So I have it properly documented. So are you allergic to anything at all, please? All right. It's properly documented in my note that you are not having any allergy. So I can confirm I am with the right patient and I'm happy to proceed. All right. How may I address you, please? Okay, Janet. All right, Janet. Is it okay to take you to your medication record chart, please? All right. So I have here the medication record chart for Janet James. The date of birth is 01011992. The first line of address is 27 Dalton Grove Badley Green. Right. The height is 1.5. The weight is 72 kilogram. The body max index is not stated. The drug is insulin glycine. The date is today. The dose is 14 international units. The frequency is daily. The route is subcutaneous. The duration is continuous. The start date is today. The finish date is not stated. The prescriber signature and bleep is properly documented. It is a valid and legible prescription. All right, Janet, what insulin glycogen does is to stabilize your glucose level and some of the side effects which you are likely to manifest or you may not manifest include and not limited to dizziness, headache, lightheadedness, or blurry vision. Are you still happy for me to continue, please? All right. Thank you very much. So I will be right back. I will be stepping aside now to gather the equipment that I'm, I'm going to use for the administration of the medication. And I'll be back shortly. Should you need me before my arrival, Please do make a shout and I'll be right back. Right. Thank you very much. So leaving my patient bedside, I will go ahead and perform my hand hygiene following the seven steps of WHO standard. Assessor, could you please confirm my equipment are clean and are ready for use? All right. Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and wear my apron and pick a pair of gloves. I'll put that into my tray. I will not be wearing it now. I will gather the rest of equipment uh, with that, right? And when I'm done gathering the equipment, I will wear the glove and proceed to my patients. Half on my hand, the already pre-filled insulin pen. It is not expired. The expiration date is February 2026, and I'm happy to use. I will put that in my tray. I will go ahead now and validate the medication with my prescription to make sure it's the same. So I have the same insulin glycogen, same as what I'm holding, is what is on prescription. The dose is 14 international units. So it tallies, I'm happy to proceed. Prior to every medication administration, the six rights of medication administration principle needs to be ensured. That is the right patient, the right medication, the right dosage, the right route, the right time and date, and the proper documentation 
of the medication after administration. I have all of the cis rights intact and I'm happy to proceed. I have also on my hand the needle. It is not expired. The expiration date is February 2026. I'm happy to use and I'll put that in my tray. I have also a pack of gauze. It is not expired. The expiration date is February 2026. It's intact and I'm happy to use. I have also on my hand the claw exceeding wipe. It is not expired. The expiration date is February 2026. I'm happy to use. I'll put that in my tray. So leaving for my patient's bedside, I'm going to perform my hand hygiene following the seven steps of WHO standard. Then I will wear my glove now as I proceed to my patient. All right, Janet, I'm back. Are you still happy for us to continue? All right, thank you. Uh, could you please reconfirm your full name and date of birth while I double check with my paperwork, please? All right, Janet James, your date of birth, please. 01019092, right? And your first line of address is 27 Dalton Grove, Badley Green. I have it properly documented here. Assessor, I can still confirm I am with the right patient and I'm happy to proceed. I will go ahead now to assess the area I'm going to be administering the medication. I can see there is no sign of infection, no skin lesion, no skin excoriation, no inflammation of any kind. There is no swelling, uh, no redness. Right. So I'm happy to proceed. I will pick the insulin pen now. I will remove the cover and put it right in my tray. I will pick the syringe. I will remove the syringe carefully in an aseptic manner. And I will screw it in onto the tip of the pen, making sure my hand does not contact neither the pen nor the needle. So I'll carefully screw in that. Right. I will discard the extra covering of the needle immediately to the clinical waste bin so that I will not be tempted to recap at any point in time, even when I'm done administering, because that could result to a fail. Right, so I've discarded that into the clinical waste bin. Right, I will not let go the pen, neither will I keep it back into the tray because it is exposed and it can be contaminated. So I will hold it right there and I'm going to prime. It is very essential. I'm going to prime the needle, right? So I will set the gauge to two and I will press. I will press the button and it's going to prime the needle. The medication is coming out now, meaning the needle is primed. The reason why priming is essential is to release any bubbles, right? Having done that, I'm going to set the gauge again to 14 international units, which is the recommended dosage for this patient. So I will set that now. I will not be pressing now, and I will go directly to my patient, right? The area to be injected is visibly clean, so I will not be cleaning. So I will pinch out the skin around the abdomen now, right? And I will go in with a pen at angle 90, right? So I will go in now, while I'm still pinch holding the skin, right? I'm in already and I will release the pinch skin. When, I, when you go in, when the needle is in there, you release the pinched skin, right? Already you have set the gauge to 14 international units, then you press the button. It to administer the medication, you are going to wait for 10 seconds, right? Before you remove the needle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You remove the pen and immediately you put a gauze on the injection site. More often than not, when you administer insulin, it's less likely for the site to bleed. But never say never, right? So I'm going to put that with a just gentle prayer. Make sure you do not massage the skin, all right, around the area. So having done that, I'm going to discard that into the clinical waste bin. Very importantly, 
do not try to demonstrate that you are a good nurse and recap the needle. It's going to be a fail. So as soon as you are done administering the medication, so I will unscrew the needle now from the pen and I will discard that straight into the sharp box. I will not recap this needle. Right. So having done that, now I can now safely cover the pen. Again, this is the only time I'm allowed to cover the pen after the initial opening. When you open it at first, there are no account should you cover the pen until you are done administering the medication. Right. So having done that, I'm going to put the pen into the tray and I will perform my hand hygiene now following the seven steps of WHO standard. All right, Janet, I will be stepping aside now to document what I've done and I will be back shortly to attend to you. Is that okay? All right. Thank you. All right, Janet, I'm back. Are you comfortable? All right. So I'll still be with you uh, for a period of, let's say, 30 minutes. Yeah. And after I might have left, if you experience anything unusual, do make a call to your GP or 111 for non-emergency and 999 for of emergency. Right. That will be all for this station. I will go ahead now and discard the non-reusable articles and clean the reusable ones in preparation for the next use. I'll go ahead now and perform my final hand hygiene following the seven steps of WHO standard. All right, colleague, it's as simple as that. Insulin administration station could be that easy. Yeah. So insulin administration station could be that uh, cheap. Yes, it is not difficult. There are some things that you need to just take cognizance of, especially handling the pen. First, as soon as you open the pen to screw in the needle, on no account should you close the pen again, or no account should you keep back the pen because it can be contaminated. It is opened already. So as soon as you open the pen, screw in the needle, right, set it for priming, putting your gauge at two, after priming, set the, the gauge again to the prescribed dosage. That is it. You don't press a button on, unless you are ready to administer. Pinch all the skin, insert the needle at angle 90, then you press the release button. It's going to be administered. The wait in there for 10 seconds. Then when you remove rapidly, put a gauze on the inject, injected site, making sure you do not massage the skin, right? Unscrew the needle off the pen and discard that right into the sharp box. Do not be tempted to cover. That was the reason why I stated that as soon as you screw in the needle, discard the extra covering of the needle right into the um, clinical waste bin so that when it is out of sight, it's going to be out of mind. Yes, when you don't see it, you won't be tempted to do otherwise. So having done that, after you have discarded the needle into the sharp box, now you can now cover the insulin pen. This is the only time you are allowed to cover the insulin pen because it's no longer in use. Right, then you keep it in, the, in your tray. Discard the, the disposable articles then clean the reusable article in preparation for the next use. It could be that simple. It just requires principle and for you to stay organized. So let me know any other video you would want me to do right in the comment section and any other area of concern in your OSCE. And I promise to reply to um, all messages as much as I can. Right. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to share, like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more OSCE tips. I will see you in my subsequent videos. And until then, keep practicing OSCE. Bye.